Hello guys, Prabs here of Absolutely Prabulous. I hope you are well. I'm bringing you my words of wisdom. I'm trying something new here actually. I'm bringing you my words of wisdom uh, vlog for this week. From uh, bringing it to you from an area which is about a 20 minute walk from my house. My house is actually back, oh gosh, I'm trying to coordinate with the reverse camera, it's not easy. My house is back there, uh, near the sea actually. And so I have walked all the way up there you go, all the way up the Mother of God Hill, huffing and puffing. It's all the way uphill and uh, to an area called the Top of the World, or at least that's what I call it anyway. Um, and the reason that I wanted to bring you my, uh, my vlog for this week from here, my Words of Wisdom vlog, which I link up to the Candid Cuddles linky each week that I run with Cuddle Ferry, little plug there. The reason I wanted to do it from here is because my phrase for this week is, yeah, can you hear the hooting? There's going to be some background noise, by the way. My phrase this week is, you don't reach the summit without climbing the mountain. Now, what do I mean by that? The lighting might get a bit funny, by the way. I think I'm actually going to try and sit down. Okay, now what I mean by that is this. And actually, I want to preface what I'm about to say with um, a sort of, uh, not a warning, but um, an assurance that I am not trying to ruffle any feathers here. Uh, with my vlog this week, you know, with the, the message this week. I'm not trying to put noses out of joint at all. Um, but I have seen quite a few posts in the last few months from newer bloggers almost wringing their hands in despair, as it were, well, not despair, that's a bit strong, but wringing their hands over the whole um, making a success out of their blog, right? Whatever success is. I've talked about this before, actually. Success is measured in different ways. But I've seen an awful lot of um, comments, conversation threads, blog posts from people sort of wringing their hands over when they're going to make, you know, money significantly, get an income, out, earn an income out of blogging, when they're going to be um, you know, when are they going to get perhaps a book deal? When are they going to um, significantly raise their profile? Uh, whatever their definition, definition rather, of making it is. Um, and uh, I've also seen, you know, posts about sort of, uh, you know, lamenting about not winning a blog award or being shortlisted for a blog award, this sort of stuff, you know. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. As I said, I don't want to ruffle feathers. That's never what I'm about. But I am, I was quite amazed and am quite amazed to see comments like this if I'm completely honest. Um, of course, you know, we all want to make a success out of our blog in whatever we, um, whatever way we uh, we see fit or whatever, you know, along the terms of whatever we define as blog success. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words a bit. The thing is, um, the reason that I'm slightly amazed at seeing posts like this is because, I don't know whether it's a cultural or generational thing, but the way I grew up, um, to be honest, it was kind of understood that things took time. And I don't mean that in a patronizing way. I just mean that, you know, so my mentality, to be honest, is generally maybe, in fact, I'm not the right benchmark or template or whatever you want to call it, um, because I tend to assume that things just take a lot of time. So it was understood that if you wanted, you know, uh, I don't know, your first ever car or your first ever designer handbag or long haul destination holiday, if we're going to talk, you know, along materialistic or lifestyle terms, that you worked over a period of time, you saved money over a period of time, and and that's what eventually got you there. Um, in an academic sense, you understood that you had to, of course, you know, get your coursework in, you had to revise, revise, revive, you had to ace your exams if you wanted to get that amazing um, grade. Uh, is it called grade? I can't even remember. If you wanted to get that amazing result with your uh, with your exams, professionally, it was understood that you, again, um, that you had a, a good work ethic and that you you worked hard, you uh, met your deadlines, you achieved your targets. If you wanted any significant pay rise or promotion, in other words. It was just understood that things took time and commitment and dedication. Now, on the not wanting to ruffle feathers front, I am not for one minute suggesting that bloggers um, just expect things to be handed to them on a plate and don't want to put the work in at all. Bloggers are amongst the hardest working people I know, quite frankly. However, to see people who've been at it for less than three months, less than six months, expressing surprise, um, lamenting over, you know, not not making lots of money out of it or not being shortlisted for a blog award or what have you. I personally just find it really surprising because as I say, goals take time. 
They really do. As with anything significant that you want to achieve in your life, it takes time. It takes legwork, you know, hence the you don't get to the summit without climbing the mountain first unless you can somehow get yourself there or, you know, via some magical helicopter ride or something that just takes you straight there. Um, so whilst I am not denying that there are almost overnight blogging cessations, not quite, but there are people who, you know, who make it, whether that's making money, whether it's getting that book deal, there are people who make it quite quickly. Um, generally speaking, that's, you know, that's not the norm. Uh, so my advice, whilst I don't have any um, magical, uh, what can I call it, you know, magic pill, um, you know, miracle, miracle tip for you, um, my advice would be to just understand that these things really do take time. Um, I can't help wondering, actually, as an aside, whether this culture of um, instant gratification that we seem to live in, actually, uh, which I think has been caused by technology, which has enabled our lives in so many ways. It's an app for everything. Social media, of course, showing us everybody's success and what they're up to and all the rest of it. Can't help wondering if that culture of instant gratification, you know, I want something and I want it now. I wonder whether that's got something to do with this sense of almost like despair that seems to be taking place. Um, anyway, that's just an aside. But as I said, I would simply say that the perhaps it would be helpful to people to understand that it really does take time. You really do need to climb the mountain before you get to the top. There's a truck going past me right now, which is the worst timing ever as I try and wrap up. Um, and to simply hang in there, that may not seem very helpful, but I really do hope that um, just throwing some light on the fact that it really is quite unusual to expect huge success within six months of blogging, um, is perhaps a bit unrealistic. I do hope that in throwing some light on that, it helps rather than causes further despair and despondency. And like I said, I don't want to come across as being patronising at all. I just personally think it really does take, it really does take a while to get there. And it can be, you know, six months for some people. It can be a year for others, and 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 what have you. We all get there in different ways and at different stages. But that's, uh, yeah, that's my tuppence really. So I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I'm trying to make them quicker. Um, if you liked this, please do hit the like button underneath. And of course, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love it if you did so that you don't miss any future vlogs. I'm going to go before there's another truck or random dog that comes up to me as one that's just uh, come up now. Right. Take care. Bye bye.